What's up, friends? I'm back. I'm back. So, we went on vacation, and it was wonderful. It was a full week. Um, and we went out to California, took the kids. Yes, we took all three kids on the airplane, even the young and particularly grumpy one at times. But I am happy to report that we, we had a wonderful time. The kids did better than I could have ever expected. Um, what did we do? We went up to, we flew into Los Angeles last Saturday and we got a car and we drove up to the Sequoia National Forest and saw the big trees and it was it was every bit as magnificent as you have ever heard um, and then we drove to Monterey um, day trips and just kind of palled around Santa Cruz and uh, Carmel and our hotel in Monterey was just lovely. I mean, the whole, the, we love Monterey. It's beautiful. It's just absolutely breathtaking. And then we drove from Monterey back to LA and we did Disneyland and Disney's California Adventure the last two days of our trip. And it was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. I took a full week off of the gym. I know. It's crazy. Um, I'm normally a big advocate for staying active even while on vacation, but this vacation, I really, I wanted to take what they call a deload week, which is where you take an entire week off. You give your body 100% rest and um, did not take any supplements. No, you know, no protein powder. Uh, no pre-workout, no BCAs, and you know, what you do during that time is you just kind of give your body a chance to reset and go back to base. Um, and so, you know, it's fine to do that every now and then. I work hard, really, really hard, six days a week, sometimes seven, um, and I push, 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 and you know, it's, it's good to take a week off. It's not going to hurt you to take some time off. Um, don't get me wrong, we, we were active, we didn't just sit. Um, you know, I carried our very sound asleep, dead weight uh, four-year-old for about a mile and a half one of the days in Disneyland in LA heat, might I add, for about a mile and a half, carried him sleeping back to her our hotel. And of course, in great four-year-old fashion, the minute that we got back into the hotel, he woke up and would not go back to sleep. <laughs> but, um, so I guess that was very intense. We did some hiking and, you know, just, we, we just, we were active, but yet not overly so. But it was a great vacation, great vacation. And of course, I was back in the gym today. I was just, it was hard to take a week off of the gym. You know, that's... That is how you know you've arrived at this as a lifestyle when it takes more discipline to take time off of the gym, when your rest days take more discipline to actually carry out and carry through um, than, you, than the, acti the, the actual part of going to the gym. So um, it was hard. I'm glad I did it, but really enjoyed that time. Husband and I mark 14 years of marriage. We celebrated a little bit yesterday by doing some laundry and some cleaning and then some napping um, and some more um, rest to get ready for today because we're back into reality. Nothing says reality like waking up to a puking kid, which the four-year-old did wake up puking, so that was nice little jump back into reality, right? Um, but all is well. Um, I do want to talk about if you do take any supplements, and this goes for nutrition. It goes for um, you know any type of any type of supplement. So supplements are you and I. I have wanted to talk about this for some time. If you go in GNC or you go on any any supplement website, supplements include fat burners and. Um, branch chain amino acids and protein powders and you, all the stuff that you take as a supplement. A lot of people will buy those and think that those are going to be the godsend that rescues them and saves them from bad habits, like a fat burner, for example. And then they'll take it, they'll spend that money, they'll take it, and then it doesn't work, so they say. Y'all, you have to take those in supplement, supplement, meaning they're extra on top of already good habits with diet and exercise. If you're taking a fat burner but your diet is crap and you're not working out, it's not going to work. 
let me save you some cash. And I'm and I think I've talked about this before. There was a lady one time I was behind at the at the pharmacy and she had some like diet pills in one hand, like a um what do they call it? Ripped fuel, I think, or something like that. And in the other hand, she had a bag of Blue Mountain Dew and Doritos. And let me tell you, I can save you a ton of money if you just put the diet pills back, you put the Doritos and the Blue Mountain Dew back, you grab a bottle of water and a piece of fruit. And I don't mean to be rude or mean or judgmental for anybody's lifestyle. Maybe she was buying it for somebody else. I don't know. But it's pretty, you know, you it's pretty easy in that scheme of things. You know, a fat burner is not going to work if you're not using it as a supplement. It cannot save you from your bad habits. So you would do yourself a lot of good by just not using any supplementation and just getting your nutrition in order. You know, this stuff like Thrive and, um, I don't know, Thrive just seems to be the big one. I have seen a lot of people that have had really good results. The people that have good results are the ones who already are practicing good nutrition. They're not using that to cover and save a bad diet. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know a lot about Thrive. I've not used it personally, and I'm not coming on down on anybody who has used those things. They are fine. I mean, use whatever you want to use, but if you, do, if you don't have the basics right, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So you got to get that stuff right. To that end, if you are currently using products like that, it's a good idea every, you know, during a certain period of time to just take a, take a beat off of that stuff and just take a rest. Just take a rest. Just give yourself a chance to reset. Um, not putting any chemicals in your body. People talk about wanting detoxes and cleanses, and I'll tell you one of the best detoxes and cleanses that you could go on is to just drink a lot of water, eat a lot of green vegetables, fruits and vegetables and lean protein. I mean, that is easy and it's far cheaper than a lot of the supplement stuff that's out there. But you do need to give yourself a chance to reset, to give your body, your organs a chance to just breathe. You know, it's not going to hurt you. Take a week off. Um, I feel like I'm rambling, but what's new, right? Anyway, I just wanted to say hello, tell you guys I'm back. For my Zumba peeps, I'm sorry. I have, I'm sorry. I know y'all have missed me. I've missed y'all too. Um, but I'll be back this Wednesday. Holla! And I hope to see a ton of people there. It's going to be a good class as usual. But I know I'll be super excited to be back in class. And I hope you guys are too. But anyway, um, well, happy Monday. Glad to be back. Hope all is well. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Keep it classy. Bye.